Hi, Nupur. Hi, Priyanshu. Hi, Shreya. So good to see all three of you together. Uh, I think Priyanshu, recently we spoke for the anniversary edition of uh, Indulge. Yes, <laughs> so you were yes. also... Yes, 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 yes. But anyway, uh, coming back to Unpause, I watched the trailer. Uh, it looks very interesting. Uh, and particularly your story, uh, you know, about young couples. And especially, I think, 2022 is 2020 T-O-O-2. So I think no, it's... The... No, God. don't say that. <laughs> At least now it looks like that. So, you know, uh, Nupur, I want to start off by asking you, uh, you're someone who's given us uh, stories that are very relevant to young Indians, whether it was Hippie Pure or Mujse Friendship Karogi or whatever it is. And now you have come back with this story. So what was going on uh, in your mind when you thought about this? Uh, was it things that you were seeing around you? Things that I was seeing around me, things that I was reading had mm -hmm. a huge impact. And um, uh, the fact that, you know, there were so many layoffs in every sector, Aisha. Mm. But what was enraging was that more women than men were being laid off. And I was like, yeah, this may be, you know, patriarchy, even in this, like, you know, hiring, mein toh, we know, we know, yeah. Yeah, you know, when people get hired, more men get hired than women. And then even in the firing, more women get fired. And that seemed very, very unfair. And kind of, that was the sort of springboard. Uh, that was the first thought that came to my head. And then it kind of found its home in uh, the story in, you know, in the story of this couple that's working from home through the pandemic. And I really wanted to explore when something as devastating as this happens. Yeah. How do you deal with it? You know, because people who have a salary, who get, uh, you know, who work, uh, who have steady jobs. And I mean, A, th that, that's there, you know, the fact that there's a financial loss and all of that, you don't know how to deal with it. Uh, the other thing is that we are also tied, you know, our identities are tied up with what we do, our sense of self-worth, self-esteem, all of those things. And women are not just mothers and wives, you know, they also have a different identity of who they are at work. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're not just, um, you know, when you go out to work, you're not a mother there, you know, you are who you are, like Akriti, the character is Akriti, you know, and... And of course, she feels a huge sense of loss and huge, huge sense of uh, self-worth. For me, what was also interesting is that what it does to a relationship with the person that's closest to you, and that's the husband in this case, and how does he deal with it? You know, how do you mm. deal with your partner's grief, in a sense, mm. and partner's rage and sense of injustice? And what does it do to you as a couple? You know, how do you come out of it unscathed? Does it change you? Uh, does it change your perspective on the world? Do you start seeing things differently? Do you kind of, you know? So I think those things were very interesting for me to explore and uh, which I did with, you know, enabled by two brilliant actors. I think Shreya and Priyanshu, I don't even have to go to, you know, uh, introduce you guys to people who will watch this interview later because your work has spoken for itself, you know, right from the world go. I think, uh, you know, Shreya for what she's done in Scam and then... Priyanshu from Bhavesh to, I think, everything, even to, to Rashmi Rocket. I mean, so much that you guys have done. Uh, you know, but talking about this particular story, Shreya, I think in the trailer, there's one uh, dialogue that you say, it feels like a breakup. They're just like three words, but it's so loaded because, you know, we kind of get a sense that here's a woman who had invested in her career as much as her relationship. So tell me about your character. Uh, what kind of insights did you have to bring to the character from your experience, from what you were looking around yourself? Sorry, uh, I'll just correct. Uh, uh, Shreya, the line is, I feel like I got dumped. Oh, yeah. I feel like I, I got dumped. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was, no, I was just going to say that. I take all of my instruction genuinely from the page and from my uh, director. And uh, both of them were as strong as the line that you just said. Uh, mm. But there is, I mean, there was so much uh, quiet annihilation within the lines of the story. And uh, if that comes true, you know, if the words that are there on the page that are true and you have a director who really knows what she's looking for, what she's looking to portray, what she's looking to show. I mean, that's that's a gift. Yeah, I feel like my only job was to show up on set and not look out of place, you know, 
because everything else was set up it's like a here platter take it enjoy you know it's when it's set up like that it's it's truly a boon and then you have someone like priyanshu who's like the perfect part of it because the best joy of playing a game is that when you make you know when you throw a serve you have that return and what how he returns yeah i mean it's amazing when you can play off your director and you can play off your actor like that it's just it's just a gift for me i didn't have to do anything i just had to make sure that i said the right words in the right order <laughs> Mm-hmm. Priyansha, I think you're just setting the precedent for being the young, uh, approachable, affable husband. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody I think will keep thinking People of you like that. People keep forgetting the delicious villain from Extraction. He's not that affable. If you see that film. No, no, but that, that, see, uh, I think 2020 was me. Uh, 2020 was me as the villain and the cunning guy in Mizapur. But 21 yeah. became the husband. So suddenly uh, yeah. every year I'm <laughs> trying to change the personality. And in 21 was last year was just because of Rashmi Rocket. Thankfully, my uncle, a army officer, everybody wanted that guy. And after that, yeah, yeah, there is this husband. I am, I am, I'm trying to be the good husband. But it's during the lockdown. I think we tried doing a lot of things to solve uh, things, but I don't think we were in the state of mind uh, oh. to you know do right things. So he does make mistakes. He does try a lot of attempts to. Uh, make her ka feel comfortable her partner make her comfortable balance her emotionally help her out or even just to make her laugh a smile or look at the bright side but that doesn't happen I mean, we all know if you're laid off from our work how you know if we, how we feel how it affects our self esteem so it, it, i've been saying this but if this would have been in a different time zone maybe they they would have dealt with it differently maybe as a couple they would have dealt with it differently but because the outside world was during the pandemic and this happens between a couple what happens there how does this uh, a, a good husband which i am trying to be <laughs> who may not be the good husband so what happens with him uh, you know that that that's a deal so I, i think it's very very real it's very very real because i when i also read the script in the only fact that i didn't know i knew i knew people who had uh, been laid off from work um, but which no one told me later was that uh, out of six at least four were women across the world so mm. that was a very big news and it is stupid but i would uh, so we try but i think a lot of us faced the same thing and that's mm. why i think we're just trying to tell this one real real story here. Uh, so priyash and share tell me something what are some uh, scenes where you really felt emotionally drained because again i'm going by what i watched uh, in the trailer it feels like there are a lot of uh, you know serious scenes between the two of you as a as a young couple who's grappling with this sudden you know uh, job loss and then what's happening around us so how, can you tell me a little bit about that there is i'm not going to say what but there is yeah where we have to do a little bit of heavy weight lifting but again thanks to priyanshu and thanks to nupur mm. it did all that it really did mm. like because it was i don't know i feel like he was taking some of the tension from me and i feel mm. like nupur the other tension from me so i feel like i was very halka you know because both of them took 50 50 mm. so honestly because we had that we had the heavy day for the last day yeah but they took their share each you know i felt like i think i was we were chilling and eating again you know <laughs> because of these two priyansha you have an answer to that how did you feel because she felt you taken the weight off her her no no i mean she's just make trying to sound very simple and matlab ki ऐसा नहीं था आई मीन इट हैज टू बी कि ऑल थ्री ऑफ अस कम इनटू द सेम पेज टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू से एंड ऑफ कोर्स द हेवी वेट सीन्स आर स्पेशली द वंस व्हिच यू नो टेक अ इमोशनल टर्मोइल मतलब हो जाता है आपके यू आई स्पेशली फॉर मी द वे आई एम नॉट इन रियल लाइफ एंड इफ आई हैव टू रियली पुट दैट अक्रॉस एंड दोस आर द डेज व्हिच आई एम काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रगलिंग बट इट बिकम्स इजी अगेन एज आई वुड से बिकॉज़ she she plays it very spontaneous she's very easy on set i i i think a lot um yeah he does he does think yeah, a lot i think a lot i have to rehearse it out i have to make it easy and <laughs> then nupur kind of balances it so i think that that really worked uh, so even if you're doing a heavy scene long scenes uh, mm. try, you know argument no but this is credit to nupur huh, honestly because i don't like too much uh, rehearsal because all the prep and the homework that i do i do whatever i do everything before i need to get to set so on set i'm very i'm like a butterfly like i go from here to there freaking out and then they have to contain mm-hmm. me but then mm-hmm. priyanshu again actually does that he takes his time he gets you know mm-hmm. he gets into his zone he prepares and nupur handles like these are very diametrically opposite styles of working but then full credit to nupur she knew exactly 
what to do with the both of us separately and together to yes. get to be make it a comfortable like manner of our style of working which is and we are we are uh, we been saying this and we were discussing this on set also that the way we are actually in real life we are playing the opposite the way she is in okay. real life she is actually uh, playing kind of very different from what she is and i am playing very different i am actually playing the way she is in real life <laughs> <laughs> okay he times 10 into crack <laughs> 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 very interesting but you know you have seen uh, an entire generation because i remember watching hippo pura as a young teen teenager oh thank you it makes me feel like a fossil <laughs> aisha right now <laughs> not at all please don't think that but <laughs> not at all you on iconic hippo pura i exactly. even oh <laughs> ah, come on <laughs> how has the pandemic changed all three of you your perspective to life and what do you want the audience to take away from your story uh, for me it's the um, idea of just valuing small things in life uh, giving importance to your loved ones giving importance to your time yourself your health and uh, yeah but, uh, now um, i have i have actually kind of uh, i mean i'm trying to divide my work time is my work time my personal time is my personal time my me time is my me time and not uh, you know basically give them undivided attention and give them importance because uh, we realized i think small small basic things how important they are in life uh, that and uh, with our our season i think of this unpause too where we are trying to say what happened in 2021 after the second wave where we have slowly started ignoring uh, covid we should be very very careful the pandemic is still on and i think uh, when people watch this these stories what happened in second wave uh, where we were used to all kind of things across zoom calls working online and sanitizers and masks and all but there are other after effects of the pandemic which is what happened and people are still struggling with it people are still trying to struggle with the livelihood i just hope people take precautions here yeah, after watching this film and start realizing ki hame ek aur lockdown mein nahi jana yeah yeah stay up at the same yeah because um for me i have become a lot more calm because of the pandemic you know new work for life and all of that um again i do realize i'm speaking from a position of privilege i will repeat it every time because of how ridiculous the differences are but yes i hope uh, i mean it feels a little selfish to ask people to watch the show regarding i mean considering what people are going through but do watch the show you know and tell us what you think and all of that tell priyanshu all the bad things tell me the good things yeah you <laughs> put your your uh um, well, i mean gratitude and balance i think are the two things that have been big for me and i hope that when people watch this film they get a kind of an insight into uh not just their own lives but also what other people have been going through and there's a sense of compassion uh that i hope is a sense of take away for everybody from the film yeah okay okay thank you so much all three of you it was a pleasure speaking with you and uh, please keep making such films so that we get to watch good quality content thank, thank you, you. Uh, thank you please take care bye bye bye